uh, heard uh, today, and I appreciate the chance to make these closing remarks. Well, thank you, Senator. If we keep going the way we're going, there won't be any health care for anybody. We won't be able to afford it. We won't be able to provide for it. There are so many things that are wrong with the current system, but it's just pathetic. And it's gradually eating up the whole doggone federal budget. Now, I've been around here only 40 years, but I'll tell you, I've never had a witness for any position in government who has performed as well as you have, who has an impeccable reputation in, in, in medicine and, and in the Congress. And to be treated like, uh, you know, if you don't agree with uh, some concepts that some of my colleagues do, the, like there's something wrong with you, uh, is, is just beyond the pale. Like I say, uh, you not only have a great deal of experience in medicine, but you've been a great congressman. And you've been assigned trying to get things under control around here, and you found that it's almost impossible because we have all these people saying we've got to do everything in the world. We don't care what the costs are. And that's why this country's broke. We've got to find some way of delivering all these health care benefits to people without totally ruining the country so nobody gets any health care benefits, which is where we're headed. I don't know how in the world we can continue to buy, on, buy off on this uh, liberal claptrap that you don't have to pay the piper. Uh, what you've said is we're going to try within this current system to make it work and to cover everybody and to help people, whether they be poor or whether they be rich. Now, I don't know if, if you can say much more than that, but I get a kick out of how many of these people are constantly blathering about uh, we got to do everything for everybody when we know we, we're $20 trillion in debt. And this money doesn't grow on trees. And yet every one of us wants to make sure health care works. Every one of us wants to make sure every deserving person in our society is cared for. And I say that as a person who, over the last 40 years, almost every health care bill that works has my name on it, starting with the orphan drug bill. How about Hatch-Waxman that created the modern generic drug industry? And name it all. The fact of the matter is, is that you've been very forthright, very honest, and you've indicated that in spite of all the problems of trying to find, fund health care and all the problems around health care, you're going to do your doggone level best to make sure health care is delivered to our American people. You know, I, I wonder how many of my colleagues on the other side are going to vote for you. And if they don't, <laughs> it kind of says something about what's happening in this country. I want to thank you for being here today. Uh, uh, you know, I don't think you ducked any questions. You answered them forthrightly. They might not have pleased the individual senators, but you did. Now, I look forward to Dr. Price being confirmed and assuming his position so he can begin working with us here in Congress to improve the nation's health the whole health care system, and to ensure that taxpayer dollars are used efficiently and effectively. Now, we owe that to the dedicated taxpayers and citizens of this great country. And to that end, several groups and individuals have submitted letters of support for Dr. Price. And I would like to ask that those be entered into the record at this point without objection. In closing, this committee takes its responsibilities very seriously. As you can see, this is a very intelligent committee. We have a lot of really great people on both sides on this committee. And they're serious about what goes on. But that's why we have such a thorough review process uh, for nominees. This is why the committee is following and will continue to follow our longstanding process in the future. Now, I would ask that any written questions for the record be submitted by 8 p.m. tonight, which is two hours more than what the Democrats gave us. This is a timeline that is consistent with the, uh, uh, with the committee's consideration of previous nominees for HHS secretary. Now, and that's a direct quote, by the way. Now, I want to thank you and your family for sitting through this and for answering these questions. I think the best that I've ever heard them answered. 
and uh, understanding that this, there aren't some answers to some of these problems. And I just want to personally thank you. My gosh, you could have such a great life without doing this kind of stuff. And you're willing to give your life in working for the American people and in trying to do what really needs to be done in the area of health care. And I want to commend you for it because I, I just don't think there's a justifiable reason to vote against you. Thank you, sir. Well, with that... Uh, Mr. Chairman, just a unanimous consent request. Yes, sir. I would just like to put in a statement by me under this unanimous consent request on fine. how important it is that Congressman Price respond to the questions he's been asked by the HELP Committee. It's a different committee, but it is something of great importance to me. Well, I appreciate uh, it. that's fine. But I'd say I, in my estimation, the HELP Committee shouldn't have held a hearing to begin with. Uh, this is the Committee of Jurisdiction. This, this committee has got to stand up and vote on whether or not uh, our congressional friend is going to serve this country in this great capacity. And I believe we'll vote for him and get him out of here. And I, I hope that uh, and by getting him out of here, I don't mean out of this room, <laughs> get, get him out of the Congress and get him up there where he can really help with all this medical expertise that you have. And, and it's apparent that you have it. I mean, there's no question about that in my mind. And it's hard for me to understand why anybody would give you a rough time. Now, it's good to ask tough questions. It's good to, uh, and we've had a lot of tough questions here today. But you've answered them very, very well, as far as I'm concerned. Much better than a lot of other uh, people who have held this position. Many of the others, even in recently, could not answer these questions that you've been asked. And it's wonderful that we have a, a, a doctor who's had a long life in medical practice willing to give up that life, give up the uh, freedoms that you have to have to repeatedly come up here and justify everything you do down there. I think it's a wonderful thing, and I just personally want to congratulate you and your wife and family for giving so much to this country. With that, we'll recess and, we'll, uh, and, uh, and we will reconvene again to uh, vote on you uh, uh, promptly.